I guess I just want to kind of get your general thinking right now behind this stance in light of the big run up that we've seen in the shares this year, which last time I checked, Meta's on pace for its best year ever. Yeah, it certainly has. And I think, you know, the stock isn't um, incredibly expensive here, particularly if you look at it on a relative basis to the S&P uh, PE, forward PE. But um, I think there's some limitations that we see in terms of momentum heading into next year that, uh, you know, keep us on the sidelines here. And I think that's, uh, you know, I can get into the details, but I think the consumer is, is part of that equation. Well, let's get into the details here, because I feel like we've gone through these cycles with Meta and, and, and Facebook, the previous iteration of this company, where everyone sort of expected, OK, this is it. They finally sort of peaked, and we're now going to start to see that drop in users, that drop in ad spending. But they always seem to find a way to, I guess, to kind of re-up and find, I guess, some new generation of folks to sort of latch on to one of their brands. Yeah, and I think it's less about user growth. I think it's just it's monetizing existing engagement. Uh, but I think you know what we we follow is you know given you know roughly 75% of Meta's revenues come from small businesses, we pay a lot of attention to direct to consumer company uh, spend on Meta and specifically Facebook. And just more recently, I'd say over the last uh, couple months, we've seen ROAS decline year over year on the platform, and that's um, you know. An, a flag for us in the sense that if the last time we actually saw year-over-year -year declines in ROAS on the same data base was just after Apple introduced uh, the iOS 14.5 uh, IDFA restrictions. So uh, that's something we're paying closely close attention to. And, and really what's driving that is new customer growth. And I don't know that this is necessarily Facebook specific. I think this potentially is more economic, you know, that, that you, we need to pay attention to, but really, uh, just having a difficult time driving new customer conversion on the platform. And if you can't drive, you know, new customer conversion on Facebook, you're going to have a tough time doing that, you know, really anywhere. So that's one, uh, you know, topic that uh, I think is is worth paying attention to. The other is uh, just the amount of growth that they see from China-based advertisers, um, and, you know, specifically like Timu and Shine, uh, in, in terms of their spending in the U.S. and other parts of, of the world through Facebook. Uh, if you look at their growth year to date, which has been, you know, a little over 13 you percent, know, roughly we estimate about four to five points of that growth has come stri strictly from those China-based advertisers. And we've seen that, uh, you know, that momentum start, you yeah. know, the first quarter of the year continue through the remainder of the year. So that sets up, I think, some tough compares into a tough macro next year. Well, Mark, I want to get your thoughts on some news that actually came from last week that you have Amazon basically testing out a feature that would let uh, shoppers basically buy Amazon products directly from Instagram, from, from Facebook, uh, without having to leave the app. If something like that came to fruition, I mean, what would that mean for Meta in terms of being attractive and maybe more effective for these advertisers? You know, it's a great question, Katie. I think that's a double-edged sword whenever you partner with Amazon because... Amazon, whenever they partner with somebody, is always the winner in the end. So uh, it's not unique to Facebook. We've seen it with Pinterest and Snapchat was recently announced as well, where Amazon will be um, essentially, you know, offering its ad units. Um, I think that speaks to the necessity uh, for all these platforms to have um, really provide more utility to customers by having every product that they could possibly be interested in on their platform. But on the other end of that, what is Amazon collecting from that? They're collecting data on the user. And what does Amazon ultimately want? Amazon wants everybody to go to Amazon.com first. So I think while in the near term, it presents some incremental you know, economics for, for Meta as well as these other social platforms, I think longer term, the risk is, is that you take that engagement off of Facebook and, and, and these other platforms and, and move it to Amazon Direct.